Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the revised GRE, the second edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need one. The problem that we are about to solve is actually one that is not in the book. It's a bonus problem. For the last, for the last two or three days, we've been dealing with problems uh, uh, about, about prime numbers. And as I told you in the last two videos, if you have not watched these two videos, which were taped out of the first edition of the, of the revised GRE, long time ago when I did all the problems from the first edition of the revised GRE, that's where we spend a lot of time dealing with the concept of prime numbers. And if you have not watched day number 79 and day 81, it's imperative, it's important that you watch these two videos dealing with the concept of prime numbers. Just type in prime numbers in my name and you can search that way also. Here's the problem. It's a quarter to comparison question dealing with the concept of prime numbers. Where is our column A? Where is our column B? And here it says number of prime numbers from 1 to 25. And in this column we have twice the number, twice the number. of prime numbers from 76 to 100. It's a very simple, very straightforward question. All we have to do is make sure that we do not mess up our prime numbers. Uh, we do not uh, just make sure that you don't miss any prime numbers, that you don't any, uh, end up inadvertently excluding a prime number. And at the same time, you want to make sure also that you don't want to end up including something that is not a prime number. That's what it is. So the easiest, simplest, and the quickest way to locate the prime number is to make a list of all the odd numbers in the range. Because it has to be an odd number, an even number cannot be a prime number. So from 1 to 25, here we have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23 and 25. How many of them are prime numbers? Again, I'm going to go it. Uh, I'm going to. We're going to do it at a little bit faster pace. We did it, as I said already many times, in in far far greater detail in day 79 and day 81, where we learned about prime numbers. Well, what about one? One is a tricky one. Okay, one actually is not a prime number. One is not considered a prime number. One is not a prime number. However. In this spot, something else goes. A 2 is a prime number. The list of prime number begins with 2. 2 is the only number, 2 is the only even number that qualifies as a prime number. Because the definition of a prime number is that it's a number that can only be divided by itself and 1. Well, what can you divide 2 by? You can only, only numbers that you can divide 2 by is itself and 1. And therefore, even though it's an even number, it qualifies as a prime number. It is the only even number that's a prime number. All the other even numbers, if they're even number, obviously you can divide them by 2 and therefore they cannot be prime number. So 2 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number, so it's 5, 7, 9 is not a prime number because you can divide 9 by 3, 11 is a prime number, so it's 13, 15 is not a prime number because 15 can be broken up into 3 times 5, 17 is a prime number, you just have to know these things, so it's 19, 21 is not because that's 3 times 7, what about 23? 23 is a prime number and 25 is not because 25 is 5 squared. So how many do we have here? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. We have 9 of them here. Let's move on to this column now. Here they are asking for twice the, twice the number of prime numbers from 76 through 100. So we're going we're gonna to locate all the prime numbers from 76 through 100. So here we go. So 77, 79, 81, 83, 
97 and 99. 77 is not a prime number, so because 77 is just 7 times 11. What about 79? What about 79? 79 is a prime number. That's something you have to know. And again, one more time, if you want to learn how to detect something is a prime number, this is what we discussed. It's very simple, very straightforward. You start dividing this number by all the prime numbers. As you can see clearly, I'm going to go through a few of them, not all of them. As you can clearly divide, start dividing this number by all the prime numbers and see if you can divide it by any of the other prime numbers. 79 cannot be divided by 2 because it's not an even number. It cannot be divided by 3 because a number a number is only divisible by 3, a number is divisible by 3 only if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. Sum of the digits here is 7 plus 9 is 16 and 16 cannot be divided by 3, therefore 79 cannot be divided by 3. It cannot be divided by 5 because it doesn't end in a 0 or a 5. It cannot be divided by 7 because we would need 77. It cannot be divided by 11 because in the, in the case of 11 it will need a repetition and so on and so forth. You keep, you keep on going until you, until you begin to figure out that there is no prime number there. Do you understand? 81 is not a prime number. That's a, just a perfect square. That's a 9 squared. 83 is a prime number. You just have to know this thing as I said before. 85 is not a prime number. 87 is a prime number. Is 87 a prime number? How do we tell? Well, as I told you before, very quickly you go through the list of all the prime numbers and you ask yourself. You have to slow down. And prime numbers begin with 2. Can we divide it by 2? The answer is no, it's not an even number. Can we divide 87 by 3? Can we divide 87 by 3? And how do we know if a number is divisible by 3? A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. What's the sum of the digits of 87? 87, the sum of the digit is 8 plus 7 which is 15. And since we can divide 15 by 3, 87 is divisible by 3. It is not a prime number, we were wrong. It is not a prime number, 87 is divisible by 3. What can we show really quickly? 87 divided by 3, how many 3's in an 8? 8 has 2 3's. The remaining one, remaining 2 goes and joins the 7 becomes 27. How many 3's in a 27? 27 has 9 3's. Which makes perfect sense because 90 we know is made up of 30 3's. 30 3's. Therefore 87 is just one less 3 than, than 30, uh, 90. It should have 29 3's. Right there. 87 is not a prime number. What about 89? 89 is a prime number. 89 is a prime number. Again, you can go through the list and you will see that it cannot be divided by 2, it cannot be divided by 3 because the sum is 17. It doesn't obviously go into 5 because it doesn't end in a 0 or 5. It's not going to go into 7 and so on and so forth. And you will see there are no prime numbers that you can divide 89 into. What about 91? 91 is 9 plus 1, which is 10. Of course, it's not divisible by 3 because we cannot divide 91 by uh, because we cannot divide 10 by 3. Therefore, 91 is not divisible by 3. Obviously, it doesn't go into 5. We have to check 7. We have to check 7. 91. Let's check 7. Let's see if we can divide 91 by 7. Let's do it right here. How many 7 in a 9? 9 has 1 7. The remaining 2 goes and joins the 1 becomes 21. And 21 divided by 7 is 3. This looks like 91 is simply 3 times 17. It is not a prime number. 93 is not a prime number. So how many do we have here? Let's count them. Oh, we have to go, we have this 93, we have to go up to 100. 95 is not a prime number. What about 97? 97 is a prime number and 99 is not. It doesn't take too long actually to do, do it out very quickly. Uh, at least a few of them. It doesn't go into 3 because that's going to add up to 16. Obviously, it doesn't divide into 5. What about 7? What about 7? If you try to divide 97 by 7, there is 1, one 7 in a 9. The remaining 2 is going to go and join the 7 becomes 27. And you can't divide 27 by a 7. It doesn't go into 9 because you will need 99. It doesn't go into 11, obviously. And so on and so forth. So that's about it. So how many do we have here? We have, we have 1, 2, 3, four and five. 79, 83, 
89 and 97. How did I count 5? 79, 79, 83, 89, 1, 2, 3, Oh, I, I shouldn't have count. I shouldn't have counted 87. You see, even though it's crossed out, I wasn't paying attention. So tell you what, why, why don't we just crawl, crawl, erase everything and just make a list of all the ones that, that that qualify here? The prime numbers from 76 through 100 are the prime numbers from 76 through 100 are. Let's erase everything else. 79, 83, 85 is not. 87 is not. 89, 91 is not, 93 is not, 99 is not, and 95 is not. So how many do you see? We see 4. We see 4. 79, 83, 89, and 97. There are only 4. And we're talking about twice as many. So here we have 8. Twice as many is going to be 8. But here we have 9. Here we have nine prime numbers from 1 through 25, and therefore the answer is A. Column A is bigger. Column A is bigger. And that's about it. It's just a matter of paying attention. Make sure you don't mess it up. I almost messed it up even though I had it crossed out. I was going to actually raise them as I was going through, and I should have done that from the beginning. Otherwise, it was getting too crowded. That was it. Tomorrow we'll begin the problems that you see on the next page. And those problems have nothing to do with prime numbers. We are done with the concept of prime numbers. We're not going to see them for a while in the book. But this is it. Uh, we started with the concept of prime numbers on day number 297. So we had four days. 297, 298, 299 and 300. Uh, there are four videos there. And of course there are quite a few more videos when we went through the problems of prime. When we, when we went through the concept of prime numbers in this book here. And of course you can search for all of those. As I said, just type in this tag, just, pri just type in prime numbers with my name, Keshwani, and will pop right, uh, they will pop right up all the, all, the, all the problems dealing with the concept of prime numbers. Okay? I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.